All right, don't worry. John, so here we are on the brink of it all. Uh, what's the summer been like from your perspective? Just talk us through the, the summer from the manager's point of view. It's gone as well as I think we could have expected. Um, you know, pre-season, we haven't had too many injuries. Um, performances have been quite good. Um, but you never know until until we have the first game and it's usually um, 10 games in, you can usually gauge on uh, you know where you think you're going to be for the rest of the season. Mm. And in terms of the, the pre-season results, like you say, you've said all along, can't read too much into them, but there have been pretty positive results, none more so than the other night, but in general, some positive performances and results from those. Yeah, I think that was the big thing is um, players have played well and um, and they've looked fit. Mm. So we've played against some, some decent teams. Um, probably the hardest game was probably the, the Harrogate game. But uh, but now, as I say, we, we, you're just looking for people to get confidence, um, retain the fitness that was in them, they don't get injured. So uh, so it's gone well, but um, you just need that little bit of luck on the, on the first game to, to get us going. Hopefully if we can get a result, then uh, that'll kick start the, the season for us. Has confidence been high then off the back of those performances and those results? Yeah, I think it brings everybody together. Um, you know, there's good spirit amongst the players. Um, they all seem to to get on, but to carry that on, then obviously you need to be winning games and and be up there. Um, if you're not winning games, then obviously um, you know everybody starts to look at what's what's not right. And sometimes it, you know, things can everything can be right, but you, sometimes you just don't get the results. Um, but um, hopefully, because um, you know they've they've trained really well. There's a good spirit spirit amongst them. I think we've got good players for the league that we're in, so uh, the signs are, are quite good. Have you had to sort of temper expectations or um, thoughts within the camp then, considering how well some of the pre-season results and performances have gone? Have you had to sort of like it's not going to be like this every week? We need to you know keep focus. It's always difficult because you never want to you don't want to put a dampener on things. Mm. And it's the same with supporters. You don't want to be too negative. So you know we've got to be positive and and have plenty of belief. And um, hopefully, uh, as I say, if we get the results, that will continue. And um, but yeah, there's nothing not to be positive about. And thoughts on the squad that you've managed to to, to put together here? The you know I know last time we spoke, you said maybe started off a little bit slow, but there's been a sort of a steady flow of uh, incomings now and as we sit here a couple of days out from the start of the National League campaign, happy with what you've got? Yeah, I think we've recruited quite well from what we've seen in pre-season um, and in training. But um, you're never 100% sure until you see lads week in, week out. But the signs, again, have been good. Um, and, um, you know, we've got quite a, quite a good balance to the squad. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> and... Uh, we, we could do with another couple um, just to make the balance even better but um, sometimes um, players come available you don't expect this time there'll be one or two players who haven't got anything and uh, maybe we can get a bargain somewhere and can I ask what areas any specific areas that you really want to to strengthen in yeah I think we need uh, up front maybe a little bit more pace and uh, and probably in midfield, we're a little bit light. Um, you know, going into Saturday's game, we've only really got three, three players available to us in midfield. So, uh, which normally you would have around about six players, six midfielders. So, uh, so we are light in midfield. On midfield, Ollie Finney's been missing for a large chunk of pre-season. What's the latest on him? He'll be training today for the first time for probably a week uh, since the red car game, I think it is. So, yeah, it's good to get Ollie back in. And uh, we'll just assess him today, see whether you know he'd be available for Saturday. And you touched upon it earlier, but players, staff, the one thing that's sort of been a running theme this pre-season is the togetherness and that team ethos that you seem to have built since you've come in. How vital will that clearly be going into what you know better than most is <laughs> can be a long old slog of a division? Yeah, I think it's important for the whole club. It's, it's not just... Um, the players and the playing staff—it's the whole staff of the football club. You know, everybody uh, pulling and 
and, and being appreciated for the jobs that they do and uh, and the supporters you know it's a collective thing um, we need everybody pulling in the same direction and if you get that then it gives you a great chance we've spoken about incomings um, on the football side one outgoing from I suppose the the footballing side or, or business side if you like the hierarchies Darren Kelly's departure how will that affect things for you going forward in whether that's trying to add new players or just the day to day that you have to deal with obviously I've had a, a good relationship with Darren uh, it's worked well um, um, obviously a lot of the players were players that I knew who we've brought in so uh, but no when you've got a good working relationship and, and things have gone well then it's always disappointing when to see somebody going but um, you know I think Darren obviously he's left for, for personal reasons and uh, we just wish him wish him all the best and uh, and uh, hopefully if he does get back into football um, you know if there's something available on the call then then he might consider it again but uh, but no it, as I say it's, it's a shame that he's had to go because we have had a good working relationship so final this weekend then is this the first game of the season is it a tricky one because y you have you know mm. just as much as you have you know nine incomings this season Barnett have a whole host of new signings as well and you don't really get a, a true reflection probably on pre-season of how they might line up or how they're going to play so is it quite difficult the first game of the season to prepare for yeah it's always the same no matter what league um, it's, that's always the case um, every club now seems to have quite quite a big turnover of players and um, teams that you think you know maybe last season didn't do so well um, you got a good chance against and people expect you to to roll them over and it doesn't you know it doesn't materialize and they end up at the top end of the table come the end of the season obviously born it did well last season um, and they're always a difficult opponent it's always difficult going to down to London but um, we just have to concentrate on ourselves and if we're right with the players that we've got then we should be able to match anybody in this league do you think they're, they're a team that will be there or thereabouts again this season after their, their playoff uh, their playoff target last season I think obviously they'll be expecting to be there yeah. um, time will tell but um, th there's no reason why they shouldn't be with the players that they've got but again you, you just need a little bit of good fortune at the right time and confidence plays a, a huge part but as I say it's it's we don't really can you know think about other teams it's it's about us and and uh, making sure that we're right you've just gazumped me next question there which is going to be <laughs> is there any any teams that you think or who do you think will be the surprise packages or the ones to sort of keep an eye on if if your ambitions are to be in and amongst the playoffs you know and pushing that top end of the table and competing at the top who do you think will be the the biggest opponents in that regard um, you look at obviously the Chesterfields and Oldhams yeah. who you would expect to be up there with the budgets that they've got and then uh, and then you've got the, the southern teams um, you, you, who spend more money than, than you think you know you've got likes of Bourne Wood who um, get gates of you know 500 and, and so on but obviously had the budgets over the last few seasons and are always in and around it um, but uh, and then obviously York down the road they've spent heavily yeah. uh, paid big transfer fees uh, paying a lot of money out to players so so you'd expect them to to be in and around it but uh, but no as long as we are then uh, <laughs> that's the only thing that matters looking forward to it how's what's the feeling like at this point always a little bit of apprehension um, and nerves but uh, you yeah, come the kick off then uh, you just concentrate on on trying to help the, the players the best that we can and uh, I just hope that they go out there and and you know perform to the uh, you know the levels that we know they can um, and uh, yeah we just just want them all to do do well and I think the main thing for me is that the supporters have something to shout about this season yeah. and uh, get you know give back a little bit to what what they gave us at the back end of the season that was going to be my next question just in terms of that support because obviously the way the season ended it probably for you as well as supporters for the players for everyone associated with the football club took a while to get over the 
the realisation of, of relegation and what that meant. But now it feels like there is optimism around the club and you know the, the building that's being done over the over the summer. So what would be your message to the fans as we approach this first game? Just carry on doing what they're doing and that is get behind us. Um, you know, the support's been fantastic since since I've been here. Um, hopefully we can keep that positivity going by winning games. Um, if you're not winning then it, it becomes very difficult at any football club and you know we, we realise that but hopefully that we can give them something to, to cheer about and enjoy enjoy the Saturdays um, I think uh, while I was in I think we only lost one game at home um, and it's so important that, that uh, you perform at home if, you, if you're winning at home and it's very difficult for away teams to come to, to Hartlepool then you've got a great chance of, uh, of being up there at the end of the season and just finally injuries any any players who are doubts obviously Manny Desiree were suspended in, in Kieran Wallace yeah. but any others who could be touch and go for Saturday uh, Joe Joe uh, got a dead leg so um, we'll just have to see because he's he won't be able to train today but we're just hoping that he'll come through for Saturday spot cheers thank you John. appreciate no it